What's up everyone, this is Too Slow, AKA CBest, and today I'm gonna to be talking about the Supercharged Matrix and what's going on with it. Why haven't I uploaded an update video about it? Anyways, um, I originally bought that car just for the supercharger. I didn't really have any like intentions of keeping it, of like restoring it. I, I really didn't. And so, I wanted to make the supercharger make boost because it wasn't making boost because the the TRD ECU that controls the fifth injector was not connected to the ECU. So if you guys remember, I was missing the L bracket, or not the L bracket, the L adapter that I guess piggybacks the, the TRD ECU to the matrix ECU and I got it from a good friend, CJ. Thank you again, CJ, for selling me that part. But um, I don't know if the PCB on the L adapter has some broken traces or or if there's like a cold solder joint, but the car wouldn't start. So um, I tried both ECUs, the automatic and the manual one. From what I'm understanding, um, it doesn't matter. It's either or. All it does, it's just controlling the the pulse of the fifth injector and so both ecus didn't work so i kind of gave up on it i kind of forgot about it and i just parked it on the side of the house and next thing you know um my girlfriend was like hey i have a friend that really really needs a car and i don't want it to be shitty like i want it to be reliable so i was like hmm I have a 2003 Toyota Matrix, automatic. How much is she willing to pay? <laughs> so yeah, that's exactly what happened. Um, a friend really needed a car, so I decided to go to pick and pull and grab all the parts required to put the that's that Matrix back to stock. So I grabbed the fuel rail, um, I grabbed the stock intake manifold, the plastic one, and I grabbed the plastic cup rubber boot that connects the stock uh, manifold to the stock air box. Um, obviously I wanted to pull off everything required for the supercharger because I do have plans. So stay tuned guys. I do have plans on putting that supercharger into the into my dad's um, matrix because why not? <laughs> so I'm gonna make a whole series about that. I'm gonna do videos step by step on installing the TRD supercharger because there really isn't that many videos out there of the installation of the tier Jesus that's loud but there wasn't there's not really that much that many videos out there there's one but it's like halfway through but anyways I'm gonna make really detailed videos on installing the supercharger just not right now because what I think I'm gonna do is eliminate the and this is what everyone does. They eliminate the fifth injector and they simply go bigger injectors or standalone. But I was reading or I saw a video with a guy who's actually using two ZZ injectors um, instead of the one ZZ injectors. And he re he blocked off the fifth injector because what I learned from a friend, apparently that fifth injector sprays fuel at the throttle body or after the throttle body and it kind of hopes that it sprays enough fuel to all four s cylinders. Jesus, that's really bright. <laughs> okay, so I'll just stand like this. Or I'll stand like this. But anyways, yeah, I'm not done with that supercharged. Or I'm not done with the TRD supercharger. It's not for sale. I'm going to make a whole video series about it. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, this is just a quick little video kind of didn't want to upload the the newest junkyard hunt video because then you guys would be like wait why are you grabbing all that like what are you doing so yeah you guys get the gist now um i went to the junkyard and grabbed the stuff so next video is going to be a junkyard run i know i haven't uploaded one in a while but we actually found some cool stuff at the junkyard so stay tuned for that and yeah, if you guys are waiting for that supercharged onesie z content stick around because it will for sure happen Last day of the sustain like this. 
car is getting sold. So pulling out the supercharger. Yeah, that was not fun. <laughs> that was not fun. I got the supercharger out though. So I got it out, be but it took me forever because this bolt right here, this one stripped. I was like, no, why? <laughs> so what I did, got a flathead and the hammer and I literally just made like a notch on the, I don't even know where the bolt is at. I, I just flicked it. I was like, fuck you. I flicked it and yeah, I was able to get it out and she's now back to stock. So almost done right here. Gonna check a couple of these hoses cause they, cause they did dry rot. Um, where is it at? Yeah, right here, this one. The coolant hose for the throttle body dry rotted. It's really hard so i gotta go see if i have a hose in the garage i'm probably gonna replace this one as well this is the other one but we're gonna replace that hose um we're gonna clean up this area and we're gonna go get some tessa tape and wrap these wires so that they're not they don't get hard and brittle from the heat but uh, yeah whoever installed this didn't do it right because they left this bolt out so all oil was just leaking down right here um a couple of things I found that weren't done correctly, but thank God, um, supercharger is going on my dad's car. So I'm gonna do a whole series on that. Damn, that looks so boring. Plastic manifold, coupler, single fuel rail line. That's pretty much all I needed along with this hose, the one for the PCV, how to get a little bit creative there. But other than that, you can reuse everything. So I'm gonna do my best to get these stickers off, but if not, I'm gonna take some really good pictures of them and get my sister to clean them up on Photoshop and get me some replicas. Took a while to start because I had to prime the fuel pump a little a couple of times because I disconnected the fuel rail. But seems like it's idling fine for a cold start. I don't want to let it sit too long because I still gotta put the muffler back on. So let me go see if there's any injector leaks. Or fuel leaks I should say. So first thing I'm going to do is remove the cool TRD exhaust and we're going to go ahead and polish it and install it on my dad's matrix because I've been wanting this for a long time and I finally found one. So I already went ahead and unbolted it from the exhaust right there. So really easy 14 millimeter bolts with some springs and I already got these clamps um, lubricated with WD-40 and I'm going to go ahead and use my exhaust clamp tool Let's see if I can do this with one hand alright cool got one off <laughs> oh crap fell and so there you have it TRD exhaust is out let's get a better look at it in the sun and the stock exhaust is back on the matrix well that was easy so running the engine made them soft i guess to peel it off so i'm gonna save these most likely scan them and see if anyone wants them